What's up guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, as promised, I wanted to go over ad extensions, what they are, what the different types are, and how you can benefit from them yourself. So let's go into ad extensions. What they are is basically literally extensions to your ad in, in a variety of different types. So you have all these types. Let's see, it uh, looks like it's 11 that you can use. And I will, I will try to show you what all of them look like, okay? So let's start with the first one, citing extensions. So what these extensions are, are they're basically words that people can click on to take to a particular part of your page or any page. So for example, if you have a testimonials site link, when people click on that, they'll be taken to the testimonials section, right? And here, as you can see, um, here are some site links right there. Okay, so if I click on About Us, uh, I'll be taken to the About Us section, right? And that's the way it works. So you can put them in yourself. So let's just quickly create one yourself. Now you can make them at the campaign or the ad group level as well. And they will, that way, for example, if I make it at the campaign level, if I create new ad groups or new ads, I don't have to uh, create an entirely other site link extension. It's already there. So let's go into extension. Uh, let's let's just quickly. I'll just show you briefly how you can make one. Let's see. Remove this one. Okay. So let's say new site link, and let's say for example, you know about us. Now for the final URL, we need to put in this URL, the primary URL in here. Uh, without the HTTPS, and we can make it HTTPS, small things. Uh, read about us, great stuff, all right? Now for the site link URL, we need to put this tracking link here so we can actually still track, right? And for the sub ID, maybe we could say site link about us to let us know, right? I, I, again, as you watch in the video on determining the traffic source, we know that people clicked on the about us section. Um, from the site link, right? That's where our traffic came from. Now, if you have, for site links, if you have one big page, we do need to put people on a particular section of a page. So again, like you saw in the video on how to instantly get people to scroll to a section of your page, we'll need to put a slash and then we would put whatever section here. And we would put it at the bottom. Don't put that section at the top in the final URL, put it in the tracking template. All right, and that way it will still work, but they'll be taken immediately to that part. So let's click save. So there you go. You will add a new site link if you want more. You know, you want testimonials, homepage about us. Um, it says at least four, but I, I've used less than that in the past. I've used two or three. You don't need to use four. And let me just see here if anyone's got. Yeah, there you go. So this guy has three. This one has a lot more than that. And yeah, that's about it for ads, right? So um, you don't need to use four. Don't disregard what it says here. So let's go to the next one. Let's go to callouts. And what callouts are, they're basically just additional words separated by a little dot that will extend your ad again. So for example, here I have these guys. Let me remove all those. We can try again. By the way, you're getting a lesson on how to remove them as well. So now you know how to do that. So what these guys look like, these call out extensions is like that. So as you can see, you can put as many as you want. Well, I think limits like four or six, uh, but you can, you can add them up and then they'll be separated by this little dot right there. You see that? And you can put in different words. So you could say, you know, money back guarantee, uh, contact us nonstop. Uh, blah, 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 okay? So let's make one real quick. Let's say new call out. Let's say uh, great service. That's one of them. Let's make another one. Let's say, uh, you know, money back guarantee. What, what else? How else can you describe your business? You do that, it's going to go into pending review automatically, and that's fine, right? So you're done with this part. So that's basically what call out extensions are and how you can use them. So... Let's go into the next one. Let's go into structured snippets. Structured snippets is similar to the call out, but the difference is it 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 actually it's separated by a semicolon. Remove that. So it would be something like this, as you can see here, types, and then it has those two dots, right? Uh, and 
it it has the words there, right? So whatever it is. And then here as well, you can see types and then it says what it is. So let's let's make one. Let me show you what, what it looks like. So you can pick whatever you want out of here. You don't have to use types. If you have, if, if you're a tourist place, you can maybe use destinations covered and you can say destinations, you know, Greece, London, whatever. Uh, maybe featured hotels and then you can write whatever it is. So if you're selling something like a, <clears throat> maybe an ebook, you could say maybe like what types of things will you be covering in there? So maybe, you know, sports, diet, uh, discipline, right? Stuff like that. And that will look like this now, right? And again, it's depending on the review, but that's how you can use it and that looks pretty good right it, it it extends and it tells a little bit more about your business something you can use so let me again cancel out of that one let's go to the next one call extensions call extensions is just a phone number if your ads will be showing on a mobile device then it will actually have a call button you just click call and people can call straight from their device if it's not if it's a computer like what i'm doing right now it will have something that looks like Basically, it will have a phone number just to the right of that. So, for example, butler.com. Yeah, because I can't find, right? It's it's going to have a phone number here. So, it will say, you know, 9903221, whatever, right there, it's going to show. I'm trying to see if there is anything. Yeah. So, just literally going to show a phone number there. And again, if you're using a mobile device, it will show you how to do that. So, let's quickly make one. And let's just select a campaign. Done. And let's click new phone number. You add a phone number, uh, call reporting, conversions will be uh, created to track your call conversions. Yeah. So again, keep in mind, any clicks you have on any of these extensions, you will pay the exact same price. They're not totally free. Okay. If you say device preference, then it will only show, I believe, on mobile. Um, are given preference yeah so most of the time they'll be given on mobile devices all right yeah and then put in the phone number if you're in whatever country put in right the specify the country um and just leave that call reporting let's see you can set your own conversion action to track okay so that allows you to kind of um track conversions and seeing what you'll actually get from the calls and kind of to track your conversions but don't don't worry about that for now we're not Right, we're not uh, we're not a physical store. We're we're affiliate marketers or vendors selling our product online. And if you want to add your phone number, just do that and just click save. So that's about how we go about doing that. Let me click cancel. Message extensions. Um, let me see. These ones are. Let's click. Let's make one. Let me see. Mess. Okay. So when when they um, click on that message now button they will automatically get a text with whatever you put in here so here will be your kind of headline and here will be your actual text okay um, sorry no th this will be just shown in the ad in addition to your number so text now for example uh, and this is the message that will actually show them when they open their messaging app so you know whatsapp or whatever it is they use for messages okay uh, advanced yeah so that's just uh, start times and end times so that's that let's go into the next one location extensions we're not a physical location but location extensions you will add it i'm not right it's pretty well might as well do it um you can create a location and it will look like that right right there at the bottom and it's it's just easier to click so when when people click on it they will know exactly where this is through google maps okay so a nice little integration um so we'll need to sync this so i'm just going to remove that for now because i i don't want to i don't want to uh make any mistakes here i don't want to trigger any location uh but you'll need to adjust your location in my business and then you click done and that's it okay it should it should work and pre-populate for you so affiliate location if you're not actually the owner of that product but you're selling it as an affiliate vendor like you know walmart or um some stores that sell products that they don't create but they sell for others you would put affiliate location exact same process uh, the next one is price extensions so you can enter a little price on the side that is not it it will show a little price bar on the side and say what that price is so let's just make one real quick 
new price extension. So if you have, this is especially useful if you have more products than just one and you want to kind of quickly, this would be the header and this would be the description about it, right? And then again, the final URL that you would go to get that and you would just put the price and that is how it's going to show up. So again, especially useful if you have more than one. So that's how you would use the price extensions. App extensions, if you have a mobile app, you would need to link it to the actual app, right? So the website, um, so I believe you would put it into the final URL. So this, you, you would put in here where they would go to download your app, or you can look up app, let me see. Yeah, so just, just put in your app name, the link text, and then the final URL where they can download it if you have an app. Review extensions, there is basically you, you can put in little stars at the bottom of your ad. So I mean, it's going to look something like this and it's going to say something in there. You can either write it or you can paraphrase it or you can directly copy from what the reviewer said. Now you can't just create a review and, and then post it here. It has to be from a legitimate organization or publication site. Google does confirm and they do check it that it is from a legitimate website that, um, has things to say about your product okay and the way you would do that click again add extension new review and you would put the source url here you would put the source name here and then you would put the text and then it's either exact quote or paraphrased right and you would say what it is that people said last but not least is automated extensions this is something that is done for you automatically so instead of doing what we've just done here this thing kind of sets it automatically by reading your website. So let's create one. Uh, yeah, so if you automate a report, let's say edit. So you can either use everything that's available for the account or you can cancel out specific ones. Now here's the ones that are available and you can click on these little buttons to see what they are. So for example, seller ratings, consumer ratings, longer ad headlines, this is something that they will show automatically. So for example, previous visits, Google AdWords will automatically show how many people visited your page for people to see, right? That shows the number of times someone has clicked through your website through Google or search network tabs. And you can use that. Once you click save, it's going to automatically show. That's it, right? Um, yeah, your updates have been saved. Let me see, use all automated. Yeah, so that's basically all the extensions that are available right now. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. If you have already subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.